From jam to jelly to the blood of Christ, it seems grapes can do it all. You'll learn how they're grown, how a tiny insect almost ruined it all, and so much more in this vine ripened episode of What Am I Even Eating? Grapes, which are technically a berry, surprised? Well, get this, avocados, bananas, cucumbers, eggplants, and even lemons are technically berries. You know what's not? Strawberries or raspberries? <laughs> I feel like my whole life has been a lie. So what makes a berry a berry, botanically speaking? A berry is a fleshy fruit without a pit produced from a single ovary on a single flower. The plants themselves are vines, which is really just any plant that likes to climb Grape vines can grow up to 50 feet long and are a great source of gossip. Their fossils date back 66 million years, and they're native to both Eurasia and North America because grapes existed when Earth's continents were one giant supercontinent, before they had a conscious uncoupling. However, grapes aren't native to England, so before they called them that, they were called Winberge, which means wineberry. Big downgrade if you ask me. <laughs> it was around the 13th century that they began calling them grapes. The Old English word was influenced by the Old French word, also grape, which is a back formation of the Old French verb, grapper, graper. My high school French teacher, Madame Marchant, would be so disappointed. Anyway, the word literally means to hook or to pick grapes. Grapper comes from the Germanic word, I am also going to mispronounce, crapon which means hook. A hook-like tool was used to harvest grapes. The story of grapes begins like any good story, with wine. Grape cultivation, viticulture, it's nearly as old as civilization itself and began between 7,000 and 4,000 BC, somewhere between the Black Sea and Persia, which is now modern day Iran. But it was Georgia, the mm. country, not the state where Trump tried to steal the presidency, where grapes were first domesticated for wine. And what do I and the oldest known winery have in common? Both Armenian. From there, viticulture spread to other parts of Asia and Europe. For grapes are featured in everything from Egyptian hieroglyphics to the Bible. And can we talk about that whole body of Christ and blood of Christ thing? Why you gotta be eating Jesus? You know who eats people? Zombies. Zombies eat people. By the 600s BC, wineberries, which I'm just going to call them that now, made their way to France via the Phoenicians, settling in the then Greek colony of Marseille. Meanwhile, in North America, indigenous people were cultivating their own varieties, and evidence of this dates back over 1,000 years, particularly in the areas around the Mississippi Delta and the upper Midwest. In fact, Grapes were such an important crop to the Native Americans and so prevalent that when Vikings landed in Newfoundland around 1000 AD, they referred to it as Vinland due to all the grapevines. There are about 80 species of grapevines and thousands of varieties. The berries come in a range of colors from green to red to black and fall into two basic categories, wine grapes and table grapes though some table grapes are used for wine as well. We are focusing on table grapes in this video, but here are some differences between the two other than one you eat and one has you drunk dialing your ex at 3 a.m. And one has you tweeting out pics like your Tommy Lee. And one has you waking up next to someone or someones you don't even know. Table grapes have a thinner skin than wine grapes. They are also larger, juicier, mostly seedless, and not as sweet. Virtually all wine grapes come from the European species Vitus vinifera, from which there are around 5,000 varieties, and some table grapes as well. Table grapes also come from the North American species Vitus labrusca, which includes the Concord grape and Vitus rotita folia, I'm messing these all up. <laughs> which are used for jellies, but also artisanal wines. 99% of all U.S. table grapes are California grown, and there are over 80 different varieties available from May through January. The two main growing regions are the Coachella Valley and the San Joaquin Valley. Table grapes are first available in the Coachella region around late spring. By mid-July, Coachella season ends, not the concert series, and the harvest moves north to the San Joaquin Valley. California has a grape acreage of about 895,000. 620,000 of that is dedicated to wine. 
130,000 for table grapes and around 145,000 for raisins. An acre of grapevines uses around 800,000 gallons of water every year. And food waste accounts for 8% of all greenhouse gases globally. So never let those grapes go to waste. You can roast over ripened table grapes, make sorbet with them, even a quick jam. 40% of all US produced food is tossed out. And there are lots of ways to do your part. Table grapes are usually European vines grafted onto hardier American rootstock, which is resistant to a bug that almost ruined it all. During the exchange of grape vines between the old world and the new world, an insect native to the Americas made its way to Europe. Unlike American grape vines, European ones were not resistant. The insect ended up destroying a majority of the grape vines. In order to save those European varieties, they had to be grafted onto American rootstock. Many of those rootstocks were the very same varieties cultivated by Native Americans mentioned earlier. New grape vines are planted early spring and pruned back so that a single trunk will grow. The vines are trained to a trellis, a little like kiwi fruit. Yeah, kiwi fruit grows like grapes. Check out my video to learn more. The next few years are a mix of pruning and training the shoots around the trellis. By the third year, the vines are allowed to leaf, flower, and fruit, and by the fourth year, even more. By year five, the grapevine reaches full production. So how do grapes grow? Well, the vines can live from 50 up to 100 years. After harvest, during the winter when the temperature drops, the vines begin storing water and nutrients to survive the cold months that lay ahead. This is similar to what beets do, and you should 100% watch my video on, on the history of beets. Come spring, Warmer weather wakes the vines up, and over time, using the energy stored from the winter, the buds appear, eventually shoots, and then the leaves. This is called bud break, which honestly sounds like an Anheuser-Busch thing, but whatever. As it gets warmer still, shoots will spread further down the trellis as the leaves spread out and the flower clusters start to merge, but they aren't blooming just yet. Flowers start to form up to two months or so after bud break and are only there for a couple of weeks max. Then seeds and fruit start to grow. Grapevines are both female and male, so they don't need pollinators. The grapes start out as a hard green berry and are quite acidic. This is their formation phase. They're like, I'm back by popular demand. If you know, you know. This phase can take up to 60 days. Next up is the lag phase. At this point, the grapes have reached half their size. Growth slows and they start to soften and start to show their color. Lag takes about 10 days. Finally, they hit their ripening phase, which is called voration. Acidity decreases, sugars form, and they double in size. And the skin thins and that color begins to set. Grapes are harvested fully ripe, which is less common than you may think. Hell, avocados can't even tree ripen at all. They have to be picked to become edible. Yeah, facts, man. Grapes are hand harvested, so think a farmer. This is skilled labor. This work is important, unless of course you don't have to eat. Exactly. After harvest, the vine's leaves continue to gather nutrients and energy to survive the winter until the leaves turn and fall off. The vines are also pruned back during this period, setting them up for the next year's growth. And that's how grapes get from California to you. How do you store them? Grapes like it cold and humid. The best way to store grapes is at the back of the crisper drawer in the fridge. Stored this way, I've had my grapes last about a month, even longer. 